Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see freehold properties and leasehold properties. So what is the difference in between these two? Let's see. First we will see freehold property. See, it is defined as any state which is free from hold from any entity besides the owner. What does that mean? Means owner will be having the ownership of that particular property and no one else. Besides owner, no one will have freehold of that property. As the name says, it is a freehold property which is owned by the owner only. And hence, owner of such an estate enjoys free ownership for the perpetuity and can use the land for any purposes, however, in accordance with the local regulations. See, if owner is the only responsible person for that particular property, he can build whatever he wants on that particular land and he can use that land for any purposes. But also remember that he must follow the local regulations means he should follow the FSI, he should also follow the setbacks, margins, but owner will be the responsible or only responsible person for that property. Means he has not given that property to someone else as a lease. So that that is again different concept, leasehold property. As it is a freehold property, owner will be the proper, uh, owner will have proper freehold of that property. See, then Sale of freehold property does not require consent from the state and hence requires less paperwork, thus making it more expensive than leasehold property. See, as it, this property, this freehold property is only the ownership of owner, so he will not require any consent, any permission from any state or government body. So obviously the paperwork will be less, that is one thing. Then as it is the only owner that he, uh, he is having freehold of that property, so obviously compared to the leasehold property, it is somewhat expensive, freehold property is expensive. Because see, leasehold properties are owned by the state government or states. So you have to take the consent from the government before building anything or it will you will have that particular property for some years only so that are so many disadvantages of having leasehold property but in case of freehold property obviously you will have more price if you want to sell it then freehold property is inheritable and hence no restrictions on the right of the property owner to further transfer the property if owner wants to sell his property to someone else and he is having freehold property so he can easily transfer the ownership of that property from him to someone else so he has no any no, no, no restrictions on that then in a freehold property there is no encumbrance to absolute title of the property and a freehold property can be transferred by the registration of sell date he can easily transfer that property. So if the question is asked in the exam, uh, the question may be asked like this, write a short note on freehold property and leasehold property or compare in between or uh, differentiate between freehold and leasehold property. So I have also covered that point comparison in the next slides. So you got the idea what is freehold property? It is the property of uh, which is free from hold from any end entity besides the owner. Then now we will see the leasehold property. Now what is leasehold property? It is an ownership of a temporary right. This is very important word. This is a temporary right. The owner will not have the permanent right over that property. It will have, he will have only the temporary right to hold that property or land in which lessee or a tenant holds right of a real property by some form of title from the lesser or landlord. See what this sentence means. It looks very difficult, but it is so easy. See what is leasehold estate or leasehold property? It is the ownership 
obviously you will have ownership but it will not be a permanent ownership the owner of that property what he will do he will transfer that property not actually transfer will not also be proper word he will lease that property to someone else for some particular period or for that period less he will what less he will do he will use that property for his work maybe any work so that property will be called as leasehold property and as the name says here the ownership of the land on which the property is built is leased for a certain amount of time to the developer see the leasehold property will be owned by the lesser only for certain period of time he will not be the permanent owner of that property and how much will be the duration for this lease period that period is called as lease period what is lease period it is that period for which a particular person can hold that property then again he will be that property will be transferred to the original owner or the state maybe state government will have that or maybe you can uh, buy uh, not buy you can lease that property from any owner who is the original owner of that property so that period varies from 30 to 99 years you can lease any property from a range of 30 to 99 years and in leasehold type of property land belongs to the state leased to the owner for a certain number of years as i told you in leasehold property the land will be belonging to the state but it will be leased to the owner for a certain period of time certain number of years and that years varies from 30 years to 99 years and at the end of lease period owner must pay to extend the lease if he wants or if he wishes to extend that period what he will do he will pay again to extend that period and the last point in this c leasehold property requires state consent obtained at the land office to transfer the ownership see if a property as i told you if a property is a freehold property you will not need any state consent but in case of leasehold property you will require permission you will require consent from the state to transfer the ownership so that is the quite difference between the freehold property and the leasehold property let's see less what we will do we will differentiate this two in a tab tabular form so in the next slide that that i am going to show you see what is the difference between leasehold property and freehold property if the question is asked like this differentiate between these two you will have to write like this so the first leasehold property in which land belongs to the state leased to the owner for a certain number of years as i told you in leasehold property the old land which which will be there or the property that is uh, there it will be the owner who will be the owner that property will belong to the state but it will be leased to the owner for a certain period of years and in case of freehold property land belongs to the owner then at the end of lease period owner must pay to extend the lease and in freehold property ownership is indefinite then in leasehold property you will require state consent state permission to transfer the ownership but in case of freehold property you will not require any state consent to transfer the ownership then lease in case of leasehold property most of the banks will not finance the property because they will think na that you are not the original owner and generally if the lease period is less than 30 years then the banks will not finance that property and in case of freehold property banks will finance these properties very easily so this was the video on freehold properties and leasehold properties thank you